now this is my heel so i'm creating a bow right on top of it so my bowl is going to come together like this and i'm actually going to be folding it at the middle it's going to be having a fold so like something like this that's what i'm going to be having right in front but this one i have to first of all try to bring them together at the middle I'm going to place it together at the middle. So, because since I'm, I'm going to actually insert a strap, so let me add some contact cement adhesive to it so that that will help me to hold it down. So, just add to the middle. So we allow this to dry. I'm also going to do the same thing to the second one as well. So we're going to look at what our bow will finally look like. When it comes to actually your sander, you can actually decide to actually um add the accessory anyway 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 any way you like so let's see if they can come in right here make sure it comes in just allow this to stay this way allow this as well ensure that it's not um, actually showing outside so at the end of the day this is going to be having like a crease at the middle this way i'm going to take my time to do all of this and then it's going to be here it's going to be right at the middle here. Right at the middle here. So I definitely still need a strap to hold this down together actually here. I'm also going to use my needle and thread to first of all form the shape so that the, need, the strap can go, to, go over it. Somebody please get me a needle and a thread. I need a needle and a thread. A needle and a thread. Please get me. Yes, a white thread. So I'm going to use my needle and thread.
So I'm just going to run the stitch over it. Then I'm going to create the bow for the heel. So please let me know where you are actually watching me from. Yes. Let me know where you are watching me for, from. Let me know those who are on my live session. I think I have a gift for you. So please just say hi in the comment section. You can see. Now, see what we have here. By the time I pull, you see that it's folding in as I pull it. You see that it's folding as I pull. So with this, with what I have here, I can decide to just roll it round. Roll it round. I can definitely cut my needle off and roll it round as I tie it together. I can keep, I can do that over and over then try to knot it. Oh yeah, thank you. Yes. So with what we have here right now, don't forget we can actually hide this. We can hide it. So with this one here, I can just knot it down. So I'm just going to use my scissors. So you can see what I have here. So I'm going to be using a strap to just knot it down there. Of course, this is the way it's going to be. Right here on top of this. So all we need is something Let me just make it about 
please let me know have you watched this on my channel have you watched how to create this on my channel let me know in the comment section if you have watched how to create this right on my channel this is actually one of those simple designs i've taught on my channel please let me know have you have you have you have you seen this particular video before on my channel So I'm going to just fold a little bit. It's not yet properly dry. So. Okay. So with the strap, you will be able to do a lot more with this. You can see what I have. You can see what it finally looks like. Look at what our bow finally look like. This is really lovely. You can imagine this right here. On this particular heel. Now, I've not even completed the heel. It's going to still have a glass heel attached on the side. It's going to, can you see? I've not attached the heel, but I've actually done all the bottoming. So you can see what I have. Just wanted you to see how I'm going to be creating this bow. Can somebody help me with the sequence? Let me just attach to it. That's another thing you, I can just use to pump this out. So now the next question is how do I attach it? Because that's another thing. How do I attach it? Now, you have so many options if you are going to be attaching these to a design. You have so many options. One, you can stitch it. Yes, you can stitch. If you want to, you can stitch. Yes, you can stitch. I mean, you're going to place it right down there and then go around stitching right from here. You try to stitch it down. Of course, you will have held this down tightly so that you don't have to stress yourself at the point of stitching. And you can do that with this. This is actually a shoe glue. I can just hold it down right there. So that, okay, I know I'm ready for my stitching. I'm just going to place it. And then stitch down. Another option is to actually use a rivet. So instead of holding it down with my glue, I will have attached a rivet to this particular one. Now for those who do not know what a rivet is... This is actually a rivet. These are rivets. You can use it to hold it down right on top of this. Now, I have seen some, you know, other people use um, a shoe glue to hold it down. A shoe glue. Um, I mean, you can actually use this to hold it down. And then sometimes I see some people use glue gun. But I find out that all those ones most times used to remove. Those ones that I see that last very well are those ones that are stitched down. So, I'm going to suggest that you, you know, make use of um, either stitching it down or using a rivet. 
to ensure you locate where exactly you want to place it that's one of the most important thing let me just pick up my shoulders think i'm picking the wrong leg Now, I'm just trying to use this to know where exactly to place the bow because sometimes you can never be sure of your position without using a shoe last. So, with this, I think I can position it and then go ahead. And begin to stitch it down right there so I can just use my shoe glue to hold it so that I don't have to look for where exactly to place it thereafter no this is beautiful like this is really beautiful you can actually So let me thread my needle all over and then stitch it just for you to see. So I get if I I actually bought a particular plastic um fastener tool some time ago. I normally use that to actually make my stitching and stitching simple when it comes to sort this kind of a project. I'm going to be showing you what that tool look like. You can actually go get it as well. And then um, if you if you don't have that, you can definitely use your all if your sweet that's suitable for you but for me i always prefer that let me just do the threading and i will show you the tool and how it looks like and how it makes my stitching and stitching very easy yes it makes my hand stitching very easy really easy i don't have to stress myself even when the when the leather is thick yes this is the tool i actually bought this i actually bought this please give me some minutes and jada can you get me my power bank please quickly my phone battery is low so i need to get my power bank you know connected to it so i'll be doing that right away so i was actually referring to, to this particular tool it makes it very easy for me. It's part of um, um, a two set that I bought for my plastic fasteners. You know, some of those, um, I don't know if you know. Please let me know if you don't know what I mean by plastic fastener. I can um, quickly locate it and give it to you. Please let me know if you don't. So what does this do? Now with this, ah, the dark would die. But they say she buy. Put it inside for me. For the breaking transmission. So let me quickly show us what I was, what we were busy discussing before. The live stream went away. So I was basically talking about this particular tool that makes my... So what I do is, as it is, 
I just go ahead and insert it in like an all. You understand? It serves as my all. Yeah. So, by the time I insert it that way, when I want to insert my needle, it makes it quite easy for me. That's one thing that normally happens. It makes it quite easy for me. So I'll just try to do that in two different places. So it's just acting like an all. But for me, this is quite neater and it's also easy. It's neater and easy. So I'm just going to use those two points. So with this system, it's easy for me to stitch. So I'm just going to, you can use your all like I sell your all. You can use your all for this as well. So I'm going to be coming from under. I don't know if you can see those two points right there. This is one and this is another one right here. So when I insert it, it will come through easily. Can you see the was coming out? Easily. Easily. Yeah. So I'm going to go search for the second one. Can you see the way it came out as well? So I can easily come out as well. So I can easily use that. We use that to hold this down without it removing for a long while you understand you know i've already used my shoe glue to hold it down initially now when you are through you can decide to actually use like a piece of leather to cover whatever you've done here just cut like a round shape leather just a very tiny round shape leather not too big actually let me show us what i mean something quite small yes something as tiny as what i mean something quite small yes something as tiny as this tiny as this cut and used to cover that side hop that's what cut and used to cover that side hop that's what you can do to that side because somebody's already saying how are we going to leave it that way absolutely no no you're not going to be leaving it that way so let me try and still use this part don't forget my thread is actually four i double it so i only need to go like twice for me to have a very perfect um have a very perfect um a very perfect stitching process I'm passing through that same place again. See, it's going in easily. Easily. So, just take your time to do this. Now, you can decide to actually do this before you, before you last. It's fine. If you don't want to do it in after the, after lasting, it's also fine. But for me, sometimes I love to add my accessory when I'm almost through. You understand? Except the accessory is something that has to be fixed you know, before, before I can, you know, last my project. So with this, we are good to go. So while I was teaching it, I've, I actually allowed some parts to be free here. 
So I'm going to use it to knot it, knot it, you understand? 